Okay, good afternoon. A uh, bit different from the normal two-wheeled channel content. Today we are test driving the Jaguar I-PACE electric vehicle. Uh, it's the 2021 spec. It is the SE model trim. Uh, I had requested the HSE, but apparently got sold yesterday afternoon, so we got, got the SE. Uh, thanks to Inchcape uh, Jaguar Land Rover in Preston. I've got, this is now Saturday, I've got it till Monday. Uh, so I've got a good 48 hours. Uh, driven it, what, 40 miles so far? There's 23 miles on the range left. So whilst I've got a charger at home, um, I wanted to go and experience the rapid charger at the local BP centre, which I think they've either got seven 100 kilowatt or seven 150 kilowatt uh, charging bays there. So we're going to experience that. But so far, beautiful car. Um, I've test driven the uh, Mercedes EQC, the Tesla Model 3 long range dual motor. And after such a short time behind the wheel, this might be the way I go. We've actually got a salary sacrifice scheme at work, which makes it uh, far more attractive uh, from the, so you can benefit from the tax incentives with electric vehicles, uh, paying 1% uh, BIK uh, tax rate at the moment. Um, for at least for the next couple of years, it's going to stay low at 1%, 2% uh, or so. Uh, and I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. The car is gorgeous, it's comfortable, it's luxurious, it's quiet. It's smooth. Oh, by the way, the cameraman's saying, give him a nod. So, Buddy, my nine-year-old is doing the camera work. Thanks, Buddy. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see what the experience is like running off a rapid or super fast chargers. And I'll come back to you in the vid shortly. Catch you in a bit. So here we are, here's the it's the co-pilot. <laughs> so we've got the car on charge now. We've just pulled up at the uh, BP Pulse facility and we're now running on a 150 kilowatt charger. Really good, really good. I thought when I got here I'd have to have an account. I need to get onto the mobile phone, download apps. No, I didn't have to do that at all. This is brilliant. You literally pull in choose which connector you want to use, connect it to your, your car, uh, it scans your direct debit or credit card, you hit start and away you go, it's as simple as that. So what have we got now, we've actually got, it started off drawing quite slowly, um, sort of half a kilowatt hour, now it's up to 7.75 kilowatt hours, I think it's showing 15% charge, so that's literally in a couple of minutes, it's gone from 11% to 15% in a couple of minutes. But what a beautiful car. I said this is the SE model. Um, in fact, would my uh, co-pilot like to open the door, please? Okay. And we'll have a little look inside. Yeah. As we can see, absolutely gorgeous. This is the black with the cream leather. Uh, we have the 10 and a half inch touchscreen. I don't know if you can turn the car on when it's charging. Oh yes you can. So there we go. Good afternoon. So this here controls all the NAS navigation, your audio, the, the car setup and configuration. And down below here you've got your air conditioning, heated seats. You can change the um, ride height of the vehicle. You can change the mode from eco to dynamic. Loads of storage space in the, in the um, central armrest. Uh, wireless charging this one is the se model so doesn't have the heads-up display and doesn't have the adaptive cruise control but to be honest with you uh, it's a beautiful car with, even without it this has got the optional panoramic sunroof uh, sorry uh, panoramic glass roof full glass roof it's very very tinted so it's quite dark so you don't get that sort of light airy feel as such but you do gain a couple of inches headroom and in the back you should be wearing something on your feet, son. Uh, again, loads of space, loads of space in the back here. Uh, let's see what the boot's like. Powered tailgate, excuse the mess. So we've got, what are they, 40, 20, 40 split rear seats. 
we've got facility under here not much but that's for the cables again hydraulic or electric operated tailgate this has got the 20 inch rims uh, again I think these are the upgraded wheels that you'd get on the uh, on any model but it's, a, it's, a, it's an optional extra and what I love about this car and not only is that is it the driving of it but I think the styling is awesome right so let me just walk you through some of the the displays so again this is the sort of the 12 inch main display sat nav connecting your phone radio here's your array it's not as I think easy to use as the Android system that's in the Polestar or even the Tesla it is a proprietary Jaguar set I think it's called pivot something I can't recall uh, but here if we got look at the EV we'll show that the actual vehicle is charging we're now at 27 percent with a predicted range of uh, full of 239 miles which is about 50 miles short of the advertised uh, in the brochures and I think everyone's saying you've got to get between 200 and 228 average which is pretty good um, obviously shows the status of where we're at um, we don't have this what's this preferred charging period uh, that must be when you can actually charge the vehicle overnight or something of that nature so yeah gives you a few details we go back here to the main screen you have your sat nav and the volume yeah um, it doesn't seem to be sat satellite imagery like the Google Maps, but that might be just because I'm, I'm not actually uh, familiar with how it all works. Connect your phone, etc. As I mentioned, so we have the cameras here, so we can actually see all the cameras, which is pretty cool. So it's actually, I don't know how it does this, but it's showing where we are here in the facility. I, I, I think it's really, really superb how they can superimpose imagery of where we are to where the car is and using the cameras obviously reversing the car it shows you what's uh, from above it shows from behind it shows left and right really really cool and then down here you've got your various displays for your air control uh, air, air, air con I should say heated seats you can control all that these push in and push out for different um, functions to do with the either the heated seats or the air conditioning uh, I think on the HSE spec I think or it's an option you can actually get cooled seats and in the center here you've got the main display uh, I haven't worked out how to to modify it but you can put whatever you want on here so you generally in the center you have your speed you'll have whether you're charging or whether you're using power um, we're now what are we now 64 65 mile range so that's really picking up nicely that I I'm pleasantly surprised at how quick this is um, as I said I've got a charger at home so we'll mostly use the charger at home pretty much 90% of the time but if you get access to these and these are literally just a couple of miles up the road from where I live happy days uh, really impressed so far not least the ease with which we can just rock up connect and use contactless that's superb uh, as I said I thought you'd have to set up accounts and all that sort of rubbish but um, no really good and uh, what else can I talk about ah that's one thing I want to talk about I drove 11 miles from a parent's house to my house and I did that without touching the brake pedal once you can set the regenerative power on this either off low or high this I set it at high and basically it's this famous one pedal driving as soon as you start to lift or take pressure off the throttle uh, throttle <laughs> I don't know what you call it now the the energy pedal I'm not quite sure anyway as soon as you start to lift off the, the regenerative power starts to brake the vehicle and I did the whole 11 miles at home without you touching the brake once and you know what within a 30 seconds it really starts to feel intuitive uh, and easy to use obviously you've got to predict the point at which you take your foot off the off the off the, the throttle or the energy pedal uh, but that was really good really good because it makes the driving so much relax more relaxing and easy but also you're putting a lot more regenerative power back into the battery to improve the range so that's really cool and again as you can see absolutely beautiful space to be and the roof and the roof the roof's gorgeous and the seats are nice aren't they buddy nice and comfortable yeah uh, okay so i'm gonna finish off here now so the car is at 63 percent charge after half an hour so that's gone from 11 percent or 10 percent to 63 so that's just 50% full charge in half an hour. So yeah, it's about an hour, isn't it, for full charge. So yeah, it's a simple case of, I think, hit stop. 
it's stopping, it'll be shutting itself down. I assume it's going to confirm to me what uh, I've been uh, charged in terms of cash. What's it telling me? So it's saying it's, it's finished, disconnect your vehicle. I've taken uh, 31 kilowatt hours over 35 minutes, 64%. It's cost me £12.22. Really, really simple. Really, really pleased with that. And yeah, come back. Disconnect the charger. Pretty heavy, these things, to be honest with you. There we go. And all done. This is as simple as he says with one hand. It's as simple as that. So here we go. Really pleased. Um, easily half, half a full charge in half an hour. So uh, very, very practical. Um, yeah, very much pleased about that. And um, you know what? At the moment, I'm thinking I'm going to order one of these. Anyway, as I said, let's see how we get on over the weekend and we'll talk later. Cheers, guys. You okay? Yeah. Right, so we've had the car for a good while now. This is uh, Sunday afternoon. We picked it up yesterday morning. So this is the, the Jaguar I Pace uh, SC spec. Uh, we're driving to beautiful Yorkshire, normally an area where I come on my motorbikes. Um, and this is the road to settle. Uh, and we are going to have a sausage butty and a bacon butty. We're going to have a sausage butty and a bacon butty for, for, for breakfast on a Sunday morning. So, um, what do we think about this car? Well, let's let's break it down to two parts. We've got the car itself, and then we've got the charging issue. So let's start with the car. What can I say? I'm just saying to Buddy there, I've been very fortunate in my life to have had some fantastic cars. M3s, Porsches, top end Mercedes, sports cars, even 4B4s, Range Rovers. I've been very, very fortunate over the last 35 years. And I've just said to Buddy there, I think this could, could, could be the best ever car I've had. Or will, or, 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 or will have. I think it's just absolutely effortless to drive. I love that single brake, uh, sorry, single pedal driving where you have that regenerative power, which in effect slows the car down to a halt. Um, I think whilst it's quite a big car it's not a tall car for the outside but it still gives you a commanding seat position you know it's definitely higher than my Audi S4 I'm sure when I get back in that tomorrow it'll feel like I'm sitting down in a, in a bucket on the floor but I think it's gorgeous um, we haven't driven it at night although we went out we looked at the light systems and uh, oh, yeah. that was cool wasn't it there was it? a logo on the Jaguar and then when we went in the car at night literally the, on the on the two pockets it were glowing green it looked so cool i think they're called puddle lights or something to stop you putting your feet in puddles when you step out of the car at night yeah. but uh, that was cool wasn't it and it's just the attention to detail it really is superb so I'm not going to say much more about the car because I think you get the gist of where I'm coming from. I absolutely love it. Um, I have made the decision and surprise, surprise, I am going to go for it. I'm going to go for the HSE spec because there's little things on this which I thought I had when I did a bit of a walk around yesterday that it actually doesn't have, like it doesn't have the height adjusting um, suspension on it. I don't think it has the wireless charging now that might be that I would set up properly on the car because it is it takes a bit of getting used to the system here and we've struggled a bit this morning haven't we buddy yes. setting up the regeneration but no 10 out of 10 for me and uh, I'll be looking forward to getting so before we move on to the charging buddy what do you think of the car oh okay it's quite a lot um I like the way the screen set you can touch screen the um, the um the color looks nice the colors um the size, the room that you have with your feet is just inspeccable. What's the best thing about the car? Probably that. Um, probably the best part is when you go really quick. No, I, just to be clear, buddy, I don't break the speed limits, do I? Definitely not. Thank you. Right, answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think Daddy should get one? Hundred percent. Now, you liked the Tesla the other day. It was like, yeah, it was decent. Yeah, I like, I love it, but, uh, but I do, I do think this car is probably better for me. It looks 
better, doesn't it? It's stylish, isn't it? I'll put some photos in there now, but from every angle, this car looks gorgeous. It looks muscular, it looks squat. I love the design, the way air is taken through scalloped vents in the, in the, the bonnet lid. I love the rear diffusers at the back at the bottom, the uh, spoiler on the top. It's just attention to detail and the, the light, the haunches at the back with the big 20 inch rims, it just looks awesome. I think this car, you can get it with 22 inch rims, but I've heard it A affects the, the range a little bit and it makes the, the, the ride itself a bit, a bit firmer. So yeah, so that's the car, car's ace. Let's talk about the charging now. So I used, um, as you know from the video, the 150 kilowatt chargers up the road from me. That was impressive. It was a bit pricey on reflection. It was 12 pound for 100 miles. So I normally get about 380 to 400 miles out of my S4 and that would cost me £60. So like for like, it's sort of £24 electric for the same distance compared to the £60 on, on the S4. Now that's fine, uh, but what I would, would want to be doing that all the time. Uh, so I put, as you know, I think I had 60 odd percent in it after I put uh, a half charge in uh, yesterday on the 150s. And then I just plugged it up at home and I've had it overnight and that's on the seven kilowatt. I think well, I, I've got a zappy charger. I might change that, but it's a zappy charger at the moment. Came out this morning. What was it, buddy? About 240 miles range on 100%. Yeah, 240 miles on that for a max. Yeah, and where we're going now, it says we're going to have 77% range left when we get to settle, which is about 53 miles. So that's sort of pretty consistent with sort of 200 mile range. So I think it is a realistic 200 to 220 mile range. The temperature is 13 degrees, in the summer it'll get warmer, batteries will get more efficient and, and, and maybe even squeeze that 220 up towards sort of 240 mark. Uh, either way for me, that is ample range for what I do 99% of, of, of the time. Uh, commuting my office is 40 odd miles. I think post COVID, we won't be going there every day. But when I do, there's a top up charge from the chargers there. But no, I think the charging uh, infrastructure, provided you've got a home charger and provided you've got access to rapid chargers, it's great if you're doing long journeys where you will require uh, a charge. You just have to plan, and there's enough information and, and applications out there with ZapMap and others, even their satellite navigation in this tells you that where you need to go you know to charge in order to get to your destination with sufficient charge so there's plenty of information it's just about learning to think ahead plan ahead and uh, dis dispels all of that sort of range anxiety uh, the big issue the elephant in the room though is about the um, those people that don't have off-road charging and off-road garage or driveways or parking that is a challenge it really really is a challenge and I think until the the industry, you know, that's, this is a global issue until the industry finds a solution for off street parking. Um, it's EVs aren't going to be as pervasive as they need to be to have a real global and societal impact. But listen, a um, bit of a rambling video today, very different from the motorbikes, but I just thought um, I'd just share it because uh, one of you guys might be thinking of an EV. Um, I'd recommend it. Um, I actually work for a company called Clark EV. Uh, I run it. And we do all sort of workplace charging, charging for hotels, for offices, uh, all, you know, car parks, all that type of good stuff. And we're pretty damn good at what we do. Um, so if you're, if you're an employer or an employee, want to have a conversation about charging infrastructure, give us a shout. I'll give you some, some free advice, help where I can. And, uh, any final court thoughts, buddy, before we say goodbye? Uh, nothing really. Nothing really? <laughs> Do you want to give everyone a thumbs up and say goodbye? Bye! Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. Give me five. Cheers! Right, so we just had breakfast. Did you enjoy that, buddy? Um, <coughs> delicious. It was gorge, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, I feel so full now. <laughs> what did you have? You had sausage? Um, uh, 
I did my lovely sausage booty in the nice beans and, the beans. and it was divine. And what was the what was the restaurant called? Um, <laughs> the old naked. <laughs> the old naked uh, man. The old naked um, man. Um, man and then. But we didn't see a naked man though, did we? No, we didn't see a naked man at all. Maybe next time. Maybe, Maybe next, time. next time. Yeah. Right, we're carrying on now from Settle to Hawes um, via the uh, viaduct, and we might have an ice cream. Although it looks like it might rain. Do you think, buddy? You think it's going to rain. And then it's get home, Formula One. Boring. Boring, <laughs> and get the video on YouTube. So. You can say hello to uh, to my subscribers and me. <laughs> so Buddy said, "What happens when we get to a thousand subscribers?" And I said, "We'll never get there." But anyway, he said, "Oh, but what if you do get to a thousand subscribers?" I said, "I'll take the whole family out and we'll go to the best Chinese restaurant we oh, can find." Oh yeah, I'll, I'm like, guys, hit that subscribe button. I really needed them so love, love. I just love Chinese. So okay, so there's the incentive. If you want Buddy to have his best meal in the oh, best yeah. Chinese in the northwest of England, and we'll do something good on this we'll, channel. We'll, we'll, for we'll, you. I'll do something for him and the family when we get a thousand subs. I <laughs> really don't care uh, how many subs I get, but I do love the fact that people are showing an interest and uh, and following the channel. Uh, I hope you don't mind me throwing a, an electric vehicle uh, vid out onto the bike channel this time, lads. Well, and girls, I don't know whether there's any girls on the channel. Imagine. Imagine that. And uh, mum wouldn't be pleased, would she? She'll be like, whoa. Whoa, I yeah, know. Anyway, um, general interest, you might find this video interesting. Uh, if so, great. If not, apologies uh, for wasting your time. Anyway, catch you all soon. Say goodbye, buddy. Bye bye. And what do we say? We say like and. Like and subscribe. And if you like this video, you get 100% of good luck. Okay. Cheers, everyone. Bye bye. Bye.